So is the glass really that important that you drink beer from? And does it really make a difference to the taste and the experience of drinking a beer? I think so. It's beer o'clock. So, why should you drink your beer in the proper glassware? Now, you've probably seen me, you know, when I'm drinking my beers, different glasses with different beers. So, I thought I'd do a little video sort of explaining why um, particular glasses are good for particular beers. So, what's in a beer glass? Well, hopefully beer, you know, at the end of the day. But there's so much more to be found in these different types of glasses. Um, some people say it's just marketing. This couldn't be further from the truth, you know, and what I'm going to try and do is explain why to people out there, you know, experienced novices, um, people getting into the beer, um, and basically that. Uh, the thing is, it's, it's, as soon as a beer hits the glass, its colour, its aroma and taste is altered. And that helps you then tune in to the beer. Um, scientific studies have proven that the shape of the glassware will impact the head development and retention of the beer. But, but why is this important? The, the foam created um, by pouring a beer acts as a net for all the volatiles. So, you know, basically it, it creates the aroma, such as your hops, um, your yeast, um, your fruits, if any in there, your spices, your malts. Um, so, pouring a particular beer in a certain glass has this effect of improving the beer and making it um, a much more an enjoyable um, experience drinking it. So. What we'll do is we're going to go through a few glasses and what sort of beers you should be putting in each glass. So I think we ought to start off at the basics, you know. I'm English um, and most people started drinking beer in England in one of these. Your bulk standard pint glass. They'll pour ale in it, they'll pour lager in it. Um, most pubs use these and it's what most people in England, when they go to a pub um, or even a beer festival, are drinking their beer from. The good old fashioned pint glass, um, ideal for your ales. English ales, in there, ideal. Lagers, ugh. if a pub poured me a lager in a glass like this, I'd be sending it back and saying to them, sorry, uh, it's not acceptable. But that's, that's just me. But for your ales, good old, you know, we've seen them, the pubs have got them, you know, good old fashioned pint glass. Then, this is a smaller example. Again, you see these in English pubs. Get a lager glass, your pills in the glass. Um, you know, it's narrow at the bottom, wide at the top. Um, perfect for your lagers, your pilsners. Um, Again, you know, great. This is these these two glasses are two great glasses to have at home to enjoy beer. This one for your English ales. This one for your lagers and your pilsners. Relatively cheap to buy. Um, pick them up for like under a quid. Both of them, you know. So really, really good. Um, bulk standard glasses to have. And an example would be um, it's a German pilsner glass. As you can see, it's narrow at the bottom and wides out. That's to basically keep the carbonation sort of pinpoint at the bottom and then flare out at the top for the foam. So, a pills in a glass, they're typically always quite tall, slim, um, quite slender at the bottom. 
and sort of what, and they call it like a, um, it's been known to be called as a trumpet shape, believe it or not. Um, and the benefits is basically, it, it showcases the colour of the beer, it promotes, like I said, the, the head retention and enhances the, the gases and the, uh, uh, from the bottom. So that's your, your pills in a glass, lager glass, that sh that's like this here. Now, obviously, not everyone's drinking pills and lagers and ales, they're moving on to the craft beer scene. So, got a little range here of craft beer glasses, different ones, and what we use them for. So, I'm going to start with a lager. Bulk standard straight lager glass. Then we go on to your wheat beers. Now, this is this is a wheat beer glass. Uh, if you look at the or Weizen glass, Hefeweizen, and this is the shape of a glass you should be pouring your Weizens in. Right, the benefits of this glass, it's specifically designed, it's wide at the top, to take the big volume of foam that you get with a Weizen, with a wheat beer. Um, and what that does is that locks in um, your, your banana-like um, aromas associated with this style. So if you was to pour a Vizen in this sort of glass here, yes you would get a head, not a very big head, it would disappear quickly and then it would release all them lovely um, aromas and the beer experience wouldn't be as good as drinking it from a proper um, shaped Vizen glass. Now an example, if I get to it here, is there's a Vihai Stefana glass and there's a bulk standard run of the mill glass. Exactly the same. Now we're going to move in, obviously, your Belgium beers. You know, you see me drink a lot of Belgian beers, and you've seen them on the shelves in the supermarkets. And you want to be able to um, have a great experience when, when drinking them. So most Belgian beers a sort of um, coming from a, a tulip type goblet type glass and what the benefit is that they're designed um, to maintain the head and to give a nice sort of mouth to the glass to have you know sort of deep meaning fill um, sips and they also sort of um, they capture and enhance the volatiles so this is this is a tulip glass this is ideal for all your Belgian males it will also double up for your stouts your imperial stouts that sort of thing and this again is a, is a bulk standard. In fact, the, the, the set which it comes from is um, by Spiegelau. And they, they do these the four glasses in this set, which is quite a good set, it's about 30 quid. And that will give you a bulk standard sort of set of glasses to enhance your beer experience. So, as we talked about with the, with the tulip glass here, um, examples obviously, um, one of the famous examples is. There's a Duval glass. That's actually a 1970s uh, Duval glass. Um, and as you can see between the two, that sort of shape with the sort of flared mouth, mouthpiece there to get your nice uh, long sips. And then you obviously get the goblet style as well. Similar again. Um, that's a Whitcap Peters, huh? Um, goblet glass but again you know it's it's all about um, keeping a head there capturing the volatiles because it's the volatiles of a beer that make your beer experience um, pleasurable um, 
and then we can sort of move on to this sort of shape glass. This is ideal for your, for your IPAs, your New World IPAs, your American Pale Ales, even double up for um, your sort of Berliner Weisses, uh, that sort of thing. Um, another great glass, it's been known and called as like the Jackhammer before. Um, or an IPA glass, so it's a great shape glass to have um, in your in your weaponry. Then, one of the, you'll see a lot of beer reviews use this glass. It's has room and can can be used on a lot of various beers. And if you was to just go and buy one glass, I would recommend just go in and buy a Tecu. The shape of it, you can you can drink your IPAs out of here, you can drink your stouts out of here, you can drink your Belgian beers out of this. Um, really, really good shaped glass to sort of cover you on most styles of beer. It narrows at the top, it keeps a nice head, keeps the volatiles in the glass. Um, yeah, the Tecu glass is well worth it. If you just want to buy one glass just to, to have the majority of beer from, um, the Tecu, in my opinion, is probably the one to buy. And then we sort of look at some of the novel glasses and that, which, you know, I've got, uh, you know, you've all heard of the Stein, typically used at Oktoberfest in Germany, in Munich. Um, the rest of the year, you won't really see the Germans drinking out of these a lot. They're a novelty, um, you know, English tourists, as soon as they go to Germany, they want to have a Stein of beer. Um, the real reason they have a Stein is because it's so busy at Oktoberfest, um, you know, you can't you can't get served that quickly. So they fill up a, a big Stein of beer. Um, normally in Germany, you're drinking out of the half a litre Steins like this. That's your normal run-of-the-mill um, beer house in Germany. Beer keller. You'll go in. It'll be your your half, or you know, half a litre, or sometimes 0.3 of a litre. Same sort of style glass. And that's what you'll be drinking out mainly. Um, and then obviously go to some of the other styles. Obviously you know about Cologne and the Kolsch. There's a Kolsch glass. Um, 0.2. And that's what in Cologne you'll be drinking all your culture from. Um, so, like I say, the the glass makes a big, big difference to your um, your beer drinking experience. Um, it, I know it sounds mad, but it really does. Um, With what glassware to use, well, it's entirely up to you at the end of the day. But, you know, um, you find, especially in Europe, especially Belgium, Germany, Holland, each brand will have their own specific glass. And in a lot of cases, the glass has been um, basically designed before the beer. Um, that's how technical they get out there, especially in Belgium. Uh, you know, they spend hours designing these glasses for the beer, and some of them are really, really um, um, ornate, impressive. Um, you know, you just have to. An example of that, you should just have to look at the the quack glass. You know, um, and the design of it, fantastic. And you know, if you watch my quack video you'll see why that this glass, I'll tell you why this glass is specifically designed like this. So, I hope this sort of quick sort of guide has sort of enlightened you a little bit about the different glasses and why specific shapes are used for specific beers. Um, and, you know, I'm not preaching to you, go out and get these glasses, that sort of thing, but I'm just sort of saying that if you use the different types of glasses for different types of beer, it will, you know, you'll, 
your beer drinking experience will go to another level. You know, especially when you know on a, a Vison, you know, a, a, a wheat beer. You know, I've seen people. I've actually been in pubs and seen them pour a wheat beer in in this type of glass. It's criminal. It's absolutely criminal. And you know, and seriously, if you go anywhere and they are pouring, I've seen them pour. I've seen them pour a leffy in a pint glass in Weatherspoons. If beer beer costs a lot of money. And if you're going to a bar and they're pouring you a leffy or a wheat beer in this style of glass, refuse to pay for it. Put it back at them and say, sorry, not paying for it. It's in the wrong glass. I'm not going to drink it. Simple as. Um, so, like I said, I hope that um, this little sort of video on the different types of glasses, why we use them and why it's important. Um, you know, it's not just a marketing ploy. Um, they have a specific role in enhancing um, the beer, keeping a nice foam head, um, making the volatiles um, do exactly what they're meant to do to basically make your beer drinking pleasurable. So, um, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up. Um, the usual, hit that little bell, you get notified every time a, a new video comes out. And as I always say, Beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night.